The following video demonstrates the removal of number 7, which was fractured at the gingival margin and the immediate placement of an implant. This procedure, which was formerly a challenge for many practitioners, is now predictable and repeatable through the use of technology. The procedure involved using the piezotome cube from Acteon to facilitate the removal of the tooth with minimal damage to the surrounding bone. Maintaining the buccal plate of bone is crucial for the success of an immediate implant placement. The piezotome is activated before it is placed in the mouth and then inserted into the socket using a constant up and down motion. It is never held in place for any length of time. If it needs to go to a different aspect of the tooth, it is removed, the foot pedal is released, and then started again and inserted into a new spot. Once the piezotome has reached the apex or is near the apex, then a small periotome is used to create movement, followed by forceps removal from the socket. The buckle plate was so thin you can see the light transmittal and blockage when the doctor's finger is moved over and away from the facial gingiva. This is typical of maxillary teeth in general. Once the tooth was removed, the process of placing the implant began. The pilot hole was made with a long surgical 701 XXL high speed burr. Then the manufacturer's drilling protocol was followed. Because of labial concavities in the maxillary, it is always crucial to try and place the implant in a more palatal aspect. The implant was placed with these and went apically until the black line, which is a measurement of 3 millimeters, became even with the crest of the gingiva. Cadaver bone grafting material was placed in the space between the implant and the labial bone, followed by a resorbable collagen membrane. Foral Vicro was used to secure the membrane into place during the healing phase. The assistant aids in keeping the membrane in place while the suture is tied off. On a post-surgical CBCT, note the space between the implant and the labial bone. This is crucial to get adequate bone filled so there will be a final result of at least 1.2 millimeters or more of labial bone to help ensure long-term success of the implant. A removable acrylic partial denture was placed and trimmed accordingly so as not to put any pressure on the tissue or on the crest of the ridge. Thank you and please visit us at our website listed here or at Dental Implant Trainers on Instagram.